Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this Nux tutorial. I'm Aditya, co-founder of Garchi and in this video, we are going to see the project directory structure for a Nux application. So let's begin with it. So if you go to documentation, you'll see the directory structure over here and it's very well explained, but I'll just go through it one by one, like the one by one folder. What is it for and what it is used for? So let's start with the dot next. So this is our compiled uh, code will come over here like it's dumped here. And the if you are if you if you have used view, you will see there is index.html as an entry point. In the same way for Nuxt, if I go to views, there is app.template.html. So this is the HTML entry point where our Nuxt push all the Vue.js code and just display it for us. So it just uses all these scripts. So if you go to app.js, you'll see like it's literally view. It's nothing different. It's just some uh, like added features to make your life very easy for Vue.js. So you could see like if you just go through this file, it will tell you how the rendering works. But I'll just as a basic, I can tell you that this like uh, because it will take a lot of time. So as a basic, I'll tell you that the entry point for our HTML is app.template.html. So after this is done, uh, let's go to the assets. So the assets will have all the static files like CSS, JavaScript, which are not compiled. Okay. So all uncompiled files will come over here. Next, we have components. So if you are new to components or if you are new to viewer or some this web component world so in this case the web component is nothing but each section of your page so suppose if you have say navbar if you have sidebar if you have footer if you have body content this is if this is your page then that each page can be a component for instance in this nuxjs website this navbar can be one component this search bar can be another sidebar as another body as another and so on and so on so all these components will come in this components folder okay then next we have the layout so by default nuxt has this default dot view layout and it uses this layout to render it pages okay so if i go over here and if i put it and then it went tag this is a layout save this and let's wait for this to compile compiled well and if i go to our project and you see this is a layout it's already printed there so if you know in view there is a router view to display those components all the component generated through the router view in the same way nuxt has the nuxt component where you will see all the compo all the components not the components actually but the pages will be displayed over here so currently we are if i go to pages I'll just close this for a moment if we go, if i go to pages currently we are in the root page which is index.view so that page is coming all the way over here and it's getting rendered in this next component or in that space so this is all about default.view uh, you can have several layouts like you can have multiple layouts we will see how to do multiple layouts when we start building our application so all those layouts will come in the layouts folder then comes the middleware so suppose you have one default layout and you have say dashboard layout for your login portal suppose and you have a dashboard and all your dashboard routes you want to be protected with a middleware say your middleware is only authenticated users are, 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 are allowed then in that case that middleware you can define in this middleware folder so you can see there are like various middleware so you can have those defined over here then we have node modules so all the package.json libraries or those packages that we install they all are dumped in this node modules folder then we have pages so now uh, as i said we have layouts we have components and now we have pages so the real hierarchy is first there is a layout inside layout you have pages and inside pages you have components so it's like layout pages component so suppose now i'm at index.view okay so this means this is my index.view 
So suppose now if I create another page, say about dot view, and then here I'll create quickly the template. Go again here, and now if I go to slash about, I will see this is about. So you could see this is the layout. Inside layout, we have our page rendered, and then inside the page, we can have our components. So one thing, if you notice here, the beauty of Nuxt is you don't need to configure any router. You don't need to configure any route. All is done for you by Nuxt. So whatever page name you put in the pages, the route for that page is created by the page name. So if suppose if I want to have a nested route, like something like dashboard slash maybe payment or maybe cart slash payment, something like that, then all I need to do is create a directory in the pages by cart and then inside that I need to have payment.view. So it will go to slash cart slash payment.view. Sorry, slash payment, not view, just payment. In case if I want to keep it just in cart, then I can in each subfolder, I can have index.view and that index.view is nothing but the root route of that subfolder. Okay, this might be confusing now. We will see it once we start building our application. So then we have plugins. So of course the plugins will come over here and we have the static folder. So what is the static folder? So some things which are not going to change at all, like the fav icon or any images or something like that, that all can come in the static folder as the name suggests. Then we have store. So store is nothing but the Vuex store. So if you want to use UX and also uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned in the previous video, but this whole series is going to be with composition API. So obviously like we will be using some UX as well, or we can also use it for options. UX will come over here. Our store will come in the store folder. Uh, this is all this uh, config files and everything. Now we have the very main file, which is the next config.js. Okay. This point is all in one end po starting point or you can say entry point of next config so as you could see the head section defines the head tags like the meta tags the link tag and all those stuff this is generic so if i change the title over here to say something next demo think title i should put space here yeah something like this and now let's wait for it to render so to compile actually and once it compiled we will go and see how it works the server is done cool so now if i go here if i refresh the page you will see the title over here is the nux demo change title if i go back here and go again here the title is still the same this is more like creating a generic meta content or the generic head content so all that will come over in the head dot sorry next.config.js under the head section you can also create those twitter and facebook tags like the og tags and the twitter card tags so that's not a problem as well we'll see how to do that as well global css will come over here uh any extra plugins you're using will come over here uh, then we have the modules and the build modules. So generally, if you want to configure any modules, for instance, for Axios and PWA, you need to have the modules configured. Same goes for like the Tailwind. So it generally uses all those Postgres and all those things. So those are all, it's all compiled well. So all those things will come over here. If you, are, if you want to use any additional modules, that will come over here. So in our case, as we are going to use the composition API, so our composition API module will come over here, which we'll see it in the next video. Axios uh, configuration. So suppose if you want to have the base URL defined for Axios, you can define it over here. PWA configs over here, build configs over here, and last but not the least, the environment variables. You don't need to create a separate .env file. All you need to do is just have env like this, and you can have, oh, not like this, like this actually, and you can have all your environment variables defined here in a key value pair. So this is how simple is it? It is with Nuxt and package.json, not, not to mention that this is all about the packages you're using. So that's all about Nuxt project directory structure. As it is said on the uh, documentation, 
that you can use this directory structure from small and for small and large applications. So this is a starting point, but of course you can edit this structure however you want and in any way you want. So that's not a problem. So it's kind of like flexible as well, plus has some robust architecture. So in the next video, we will be seeing how to install the composition API, oh sorry, composition package to use composition API. Till then, goodbye.